so we're looking at this question. Let's get straight into it. It says, what is the principal which would amount to $6,900 in three years at 5% simple interest per annum? So we're looking for the principal. What is the principal? And that would amount to $6,900. So we have the amount, all right, which we know is made up of what? The principal, the original amount, and that would have, and what is the principal, by the way? The principal is the original amount that was borrowed or lent. Okay? And so if we're looking at an amount, the amount is given as $6,900. It's different from the principal. This amount is referring to the amount at the end of the period. So in this case, it's the end of three years. The amount, which is made up of the principal, the amount that was borrowed or lent, plus the interest that was gained, all right, so the interest plus the principal will give us the amount. So if you put an amount in the bank, which is the principal, and the bank will give you interest after that three-year period, and the amount at the end of the three-year period will be the principal, the amount you put in, plus the amount the bank is giving you. All right, so you'll have a total, um, in this case, of $6,900. So the amount is $6,900, okay? We don't know the amount that was put in. That's what the question is asking for. What is the principal? Okay, and we don't have the interest, okay? So what are we going to do? We know that principal, if you look at a simple interest formula, the principal is equal to the interest times 100, or 100 times the interest, divided by the product of the, the um, rate times the rate and time. Or we can say the rate times time below here. Okay, so it's 100 times the interest over the rate times time. That will give us the principal. But again, we don't have the interest. What we have is the rate, which is 5%. We have the time, which is three years but we don't have the interest. What we have there is an amount after the three-year period, which is the principal we're looking for. In this case, the original amount, but we know it's, a, it's actually 100%. And the interest, we also have the percentage for the interest. It's 5% every year, and it's 5% every year for three years. That's a total of 15%, isn't it not? Think about it. So. $6,900 there will be equivalent to um, 115%. It's going to be um, made up of 100%, the amount that was put in, plus the 15% interest. And so that's going to be 115%. So we need to know what this original amount is, which is 100%. We can use several methods to work this out, the original amount of 100%. But let's use this formula instead, which is the original amount. Um, by the way, let, me just, let us just write this as an, in fractional form. It would be 115%, oh, so it be 115 over what? 100. Okay, so now let's look at the original amount. There's a, there's a nice little neat formula to use to find the original amount. The original amount pretty useful. What is it? So what you do, you take the new amount, and in this case, $6,900. You can take the new amount, $6,900, and we're going to multiply by its percentage in, in the reciprocal form. So the reciprocal of this fraction here is what? 100 over 115. So we take the, the original, the new amount. We're trying to find the original amount. We take the new amount, which is 6,900. And it's represent, what fraction represents this amount? 6,900, 115%. What we do, we simply flip it and multiply. Okay, and so we're, get, we're gonna get what? Less. To simplify this, 
uh, 20. What, what number can go into both 100 and 115? Well, we know 5 can go into it for sure. So 5 into 100 is uh, 20, and 5 and 15 is 3, that's 23. 5 into 100, that's 20. Okay, let's look further, see if we can actually um, simplify it further. Look at this number and this number here, that's 23 itself goes once into 6 to 9, we can see that clearly. That's going to be 3. Okay, 23 can go into 6 to 9 three times. So what we have is 300 dollars times 20. And that will give us 6,000. Okay, so that's actually what we're looking for there. So the original amount is 6,000. And the original amount we're looking for, as noted before, is 100%. All right? And so we just found the principal which is the original amount, 100%, or $6,000, okay? That's the solution. So we weren't, we weren't able to find it using this formula because we have the interest times 100 divided by the rate times the time. We had a rate which was, which was 5%. We had a time which was three years, but we didn't have the interest in order to calculate the principal there. So that formula couldn't work for us. Alright, hope that video was useful in helping you solve that question.